Through the heart of Silicon Valley flows a very special stream, San Francisco Creek. Despite its urban setting, the stream is critical to the survival of wild steelhead, whose remarkable fish migrate from the ocean into the freshwater creeks where they were born in order to spawn. But Stanford University's Searsville Dam blocks this critical migration. Standing 65 feet tall with a reservoir over 90% silted in, it is time for Stanford to remove this obsolete dam. Searsville Dam flooded a beautiful valley where five creeks once converged, drowning Cold Creek habitat with warm slack water that supports invasive species and damages the watershed. The dark blue line, showing the existing steelhead migration route, now dead ends at Searsville Dam, blocking 20 miles of upstream habitat. The lower watershed below the dam supports one of the last wild steelhead runs in the San Francisco Bay. These urban stretches wind through Stanford and three cities before connecting to the bay and nourishing its ecosystems. San Francisco Creek is unique. Almost every other San Francisco Bay stream has been layered with concrete, eliminating its natural habitat. By contrast, San Francisco retains its natural character even in its most urban stretches, supporting diverse fish and wildlife. The headwaters above Searsville Dam are a network of 20 streams that drain the Santa Cruz Mountains. The streams shown in light blue are blocked by Stanford's dam, preventing wild steelhead from reaching them. Access to this habitat is critical for the threatened fish. Steelhead historically spawned in these headwaters, and with dam removal, will once again. Open space preserves protect the upper watershed, providing recreation for residents, while ensuring continued existence of this native habitat. San Francisco Creek is one of America's most endangered rivers. The majestic steelhead runs that once dominated this system now struggle because of depleted flows, degraded habitat, and blocked access caused by Stanford's dam. Searsville Dam does not provide any meaningful benefits that can justify its environmental impacts. The small amount of water it provides Stanford is not drinkable and is primarily used to water its golf course. The dam does not provide flood protection to downstream communities and poses serious safety concerns were it to fail. Meanwhile, safe, sustainable alternatives are available. Stanford is currently assessing what to do with the dam and will make a decision by the end of 2014 with tremendous consequences for the watershed in San Francisco Bay. You can help by taking action today. Tell Stanford to remove its harmful and unnecessary dam and help us restore San Francisco Creek.